Michelle and I've been practicing veganism for about half a year now in Toronto. This video is about the grocery hauls I've done for the past week. This is actually my fourth one because I just wanted to visit the Big Carrot today to grab some of these beef bouillon, not beef, I mean vegan beef bouillon. I've been using this for some of my Satan recipes or some soups when I make soups. So I wanted to grab that. And then the rest of the video is me and my partner going to the stockyards, visiting Healthy Planet as well as Nations. And I also made a trip down to Kensington Market. So I hope you enjoy the rest of it. For this haul at the Big Carrot, I got as shown. Um, and I also grabbed some reusable facial rounds. They have it in their body care section. Um, I started using toner and some skincare products, so I wanted to use an alternative than my hands because they're pretty dry and I wanted to avoid as much, as con as much contact to water or any other products. Um, I also grabbed some limes kombucha, uh, rice vinegar, and this toothpaste by the Green Beaver Company. It's also vegan here. I've used it before, um, and the cilantro and mint one, as well as this one, is good. Um, no complaints with that. And I also wanted to grab a stasher bag, which I've used before. Um, they these are for storing snacks or food products in your fridge and you can also cook with them but I haven't tried it yet. If you look here, it's microwave safe, dishwasher safe, fridge friendly, oven strong to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. And then I also, this just happened, I've never seen it there at the Big Carrot before but they also have these bags, um, snack bags. I don't think they do um, the cooking. I don't think you can cook with this, like the stasher, but they function basically as an alternative to Ziploc bags. Um, you can attach it at the top here with the holes. And then at the back here, you can fold it and seal it based on what you've put in there. So there's this size or this size down here where you can seal it again with these hooks. And that's about it. It's a little mini haul. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and the finds, the vegan finds I've found at other grocery stores in Toronto. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. And if you like this content, kind of content comment up below to let me know what you think uh, yesterday or the other day I went to King's Cafe in uh, Kensington Market and they are a restaurant that sells mainly vegan food and they also have a little grocery section um, in which we sometimes buy our meat our vegan meat so I bought four products there this week and the first one is uh, this vegan barbecue meat. It's like the, the char, those barbecue char shoe. And yesterday we made bows with it. I just pan fried it to warm it up. And then I bought the nugget. I believe it's mainly made out of soy protein. Yeah, soy. And then we bought this before too. The bacon that really has that flavor of real bacon uh, so we like buying this whenever I'm there and I haven't tried this yet but it's like it looks like a pork belly um, and it looks like it has like that, that mimic like texture so we'll see how this goes um, 
But yeah, that's why I bought at King's Cafe. They also sell tea, uh, bows, dumplings in the frozen section and have like a little pantry of like vegan jerky and black bean sauce and soy sauce and all of those things that you would get in an Asian store. Um, mostly Asian focused vegan products there. And then today we made a trip to the stockyards. Um, they have a healthy planet there so we went there and we bought vegan mayo and hop seeds because we are running out of those as well. I wanted to try uh, the Gardein crab cakes and I've had these before and they're really good uh, as an alternative to fish and I also got um, bar soap this is from the soap works um, most of their products are vegan if you look on their website so this is the cucumber and calendula Calendula, I just like the smell of this one. Uh, I use this for my body and face. And then um, I also use their shampoo and conditioner bar um, just because there's less plastic um, made. And yeah, that's our haul from Healthy Planet. And then after Healthy Planet, we went to Nations to do uh, most of our grocery shopping. So we got some produce for some um, dishes that we want to make. And then for pantry items, well of course, tofu. Always have tofu. Tofu. And then always have sugar, a lot of sugar. What? <laughs> and then coconut milk uh, because I wanted to make a latin, a Filipino dish. Um, vegan, uh, so coconut milk, dried tar leaves, as well as black bean garlic sauce. And then JR got some wasabi peas and black pepper because we were running out. And we don't have a grinder. Well, we do have a grinder. But then I just thought that we have a, we also have a spice grinder. Total use, but those. anyways, it's a more convenient. <laughs> and then JR bought this flavor seasoning. Uh, he didn't think of it at the time, but I think it's a good idea to try it with the frozen pork belly that I bought from King's Cafe. I don't remember if I tried this before. See? Yeah, probably. Anyways, I'm excited. Like, uh, the sizzling plate. Oh, maybe. Anyways, hopefully I'll get to film this. And then I also found these. Um, I think it's on the snack area. I remember seeing it, I think, on the Viet Vegans um, YouTube channel. I remember they went to their nations, I think, in Hamilton. In that area. Um, and I remember seeing one of their videos. And I found it too. Look like yeah. so there's like a beef steak as well as like a chicken vegetarian uh, cutlet yeah I couldn't read it but luckily the sales um, tag on the shelf was like this is the cumin flavor this is the chicken flavor this is the spicy sauce flavor um, but we picked the uh, yeah the spicy flavor and the chicken flavor. This one says it's made out of dried de bean curd, and this one is gluten and soy bean protein powder. It looks like it's packaged into littler packages. Uh, yeah. The only character I could read here is this one, it means cow in Japanese. Oh, and then this one says, this one is means flesh or meat. Anyways, like that's me just studying kanji characters in Japanese. 
Yeah, and that's basically our vegan haul, grocery haul of the week um, in Toronto. Yeah, I'm happy that there are so many options available for vegans now um, and very accessible or like wherever you go now there is going to be some kind of vegan alternative to like the meat, cheese, mayo, etc, etc. Yeah. Um, let me know what you think of the items we bought or if you tried them. I also ordered a bunch of seed from the Ontario Seed Company because I wanted to start a Ungoro garden, mostly. So what we have here is parsley, parsley, chamomile, garlic, chives, cilantro, cilantro, oregano, 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 arugula, which is my favorite green leaf next to cilantro, rosemary, basil, thyme, Thyme. 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 And dill. This one, for some reason, I got it organic. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do them all at once because I'm scared I'm gonna like accidentally kill them. But I still have to buy some soil and pots for it. I already have a indoor plant light, so really excited to start that as well. And then hopefully, for the thing, I'll just be able to grab it straight from my garden. Yes. And remember to subscribe and like this video. I hope you liked watching it. Okay, bye.